I can remember my dad walking down the street for the paper. He'd end up meeting up with some of his old mates and they'd have a yarn and, and they used to congregate around that wall, so yeah. The thing that I remember most is the white line that goes across the wall in the horizontal direction. And that, that is actually the height of a tennis net. And I'd be lined up outside there where we were and flogging the ball up against that wall. Bang, 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 you know, be flogging there for ages until the bus turned up. We wanted something vibrant and eye-catching, but also something that was specifically um, located in the Balmoral region. I think it's about bringing art to art to people rather than keeping it in a, a gallery space that's a bit exclusive. Um, we want to share our practice, what we do with, with the general public and, and make it accessible to people who wouldn't necessarily see it day to day. Public art also involves the community um, through the mural. A whole lot of other little community activities have sprung up um, as part of it, so it's been, I think it's been successful. It's about sort of sharing the, uh, the wider culture uh, associated with art with, with a community of people. I think it's fantastic, it's colourful and it's very well done and it's got nice shades and shadows and things that they've done with it. So what this mural was all about is about looking at endemic species that you find around Balmoral um, and, and, and sort of and the energy of, of the foliage and, and the plants and the birds all merging with rose, vibrant ab abstract expressionism. brightens up my whole day.